You know, it's a real strange thing when you wake up feeling like America's founding fathers. They said that back before Christopher Columbus and the rest of his foreign brothers and sisters came across the great seas to travel to our great place that we now call America, which used to be Turtle Island. Before Christopher Columbus them came, we were the aboriginal indigenous Niji to this native place that we were born to. We were well established. We owned everything that we had. But your founding fathers of America have come over to claim property and people that are not their own. I'm feeling like your founding fathers. For I have woke up from a dream that tells me deep within my soul, take back what's yours. Though many of you may not understand why I go live, why I make the videos that I stream. Somewhere in my soul, it says, take back your farmland. Take back your cultures. Take back your traditions. Take back your heritage. Take back your nationality. You're neither Negro, black, nor colored. And I would refrain from calling myself an African American. For we are our own cause of our own involuntary servitude. I woke up from a dream today. Dated 7-20-2019. I woke up from a dream today. And that dream say that my ancestors don't come to visit me. Light work. Light work. They come to visit me and I won't mention how. But they come to say that we are here. What I come to tell my brothers and my sisters that choose to put a gun against each other, to take life away from each other for a color, the red and the blue, the divisions of our people, from those of the Moorish descendants to the Christian faith, those who call themselves Jehovah, those who study the Quran and the Torah. I stopped by to give you a message that our people have been divided and conquered in the separate divisions of the so-called United States of America. Your founding fathers and their offspring have caused genocide, war, and hate on the divisions of our people, cultures, and nature all over the planet Earth. War has come to your front door. What will you do when the sister nations rise up against the great nation of the place you call America? This is a warning that if Donald Trump decides to go forth with this war that he plans, not only on those of Iran, but of the multitude of millions of people of color all over the planet Earth. You've been warned that our ancestors are now present. And your America will fall. Left less these sister nations pull back from the prophecies which are explained in this book that we call the Bible. I started off with the wording saying that I feel like your founding fathers 
who were slaveholders. All the way from George Washington to Thomas Jefferson. Every president on the dollar bill was a slaveholder, slave owner, and a racist against my people. For the offspring of those elders whose lives and blood, sweat, and tears have built America. The offspring of those lives who used to roam this place that we call Earth. The offspring of those lives that were lost. We stand strong with a heartbeat with a thousand posts. Ready. Now, for those of you who don't understand, our ancestors instilled in us to be fearless warriors. If you're going to pull a gun out, make sure you don't draw it on your own kind. But let me say to those of you that are foreign to America, and you know exactly who you are. Lest Trump make this a radical decision. It will be death to America. 